Hi Jay. You had asked me how I did the handoff at the top of the um, five point land spin flower uh, where I um, flick the tail end out to the side and uh, I try to explain it. Uh, I don't have a tutorial on this um, behind the back flowers yet. Um, they are quite tricky and especially the anti spin one. I'm still struggling a bit myself so I do my best to explain what I'm doing there. Um, if you practice this, really practice with a soft prop because when you spin here up behind your head and um, try something and you're not really clean with your planes, you're going to hit your head. And um, if you hurt yourself and you have not practiced with a soft prop, don't blame me, I told you. <laughs> I've hit myself a lot during practice. So what was this move about? It was um, like this. Oops, and there I get caught. Um, so what I'm doing here is um, I'm doing an anti-spin flower. Anti-spin means I'm spinning here down towards, um, towards the trunk over here, but my arm goes up, so the, uh, the whip and my arm go in different directions. And when I come up here, then you need plane control really behind your back and here up behind your head. Both hands and ideally in both directions. So uh, that is something to practice really with something soft at first that you get some control spinning here behind your head. So that you start. Um, you can start actually on, on wheel plane and then turn into this wall plane later. That's a bit easier for, for plane control, but you still need it here, spinning here behind your head. So starting towards the trunk over here, spinning down there, and then my hand goes up. And when I'm behind my head, um, the other hand is in this position, so palm up more or less, palm out, ready to catch. So it's kind of this position, I hope you can see it. And I catch in the upswing. So when the, the whip goes up, I'm spinning here down to the end of the trunk, spin up and there I catch. And then the whip comes down and I, as soon as I catch it here, I try to reach out there and keep on spinning. So I keep spinning towards the trunk here, but my arm is now going down towards the side here of the door. And this part after, after the, the handle, here down, that's a really dangerous one. Um, that's a really tricky part to spin here and really not hit your head. Sometimes I still get caught here um, between um, the, the end of the fibers and, and don't really uh, get it clean, but well, I'm working on it. So start here, go up, hand off, and spin, and I go down here. And I keep the tail end just in the, in the other hand. So I start spinning here with the hand on the, on the side of the trunk. Hand off. That's what I might that I get caught here when the plane's when the plane is not clean. Um, but then I don't let go of the fibers here, I don't really do much with the with this hand, but just keep the fibers here while I spin with the other with the other hand. So um, automatically the fibers um, get in this position of kind of start like position. Once again, spinning up. Hand off, spinning down here, I keep the fibers in this hand and then you can go to, I don't know, whatever, uh, holding this here like a staff position and spinning or penduluming with the, um, uh, with the hand land. Or you can take the flower like this. But uh, that's again another really tricky handoff at the, at the bottom. 
Uh, usually when you spin right behind your back, right behind your spine, in whatever direction your hand position is, the back of your hand facing your back. So you're spinning like this or like this. Um, a little bit out of the sides, your hand position switches. So you're here and when you go out, then you switch to a hand position with the palms facing the front. So whatever direction you have, you always have this. You have this kind of turning and switching. Other direction, same thing. So that is something to practice anyway, uh, like when you can when you do flowers uh, behind your back or spinning somewhere behind your, your back that you can switch here this hand position. Um, for this antsman flower, the hand positions are really tricky. It's not this exact back-to-back -back hand position, but a bit of something else. So I'm going to start spinning here, still towards the trunk or the cabinet or whatever it's really called. Um, so from here, the other hand is not like this, somehow um, in this position to, to catch and to grab and like in the in the upswing so the the whip somewhere has to pass a bit and he, yeah messing up that kind of grabbing behind so the whip has to pass the hand and comes from the top somehow. So I'm spinning here messing up. <laughs> It's really, really hard to demonstrate it and, and explain it at the same time. So, like this, and then you're ready to go to go up again. Here, coming down. can just do as many pedals as you want on either side to go up and down and I really try to get it down to five pedals all together so I'm, I'm out of the side, up, out of the side, one more, one down here, out, up, out, down, down, out, up, down, down, out, oops, something like this. So, I'm not sure if you can reduce it to three pedals, that would be really hard, um, but five are at least possible. Um, the antispit flower is really tricky. Um, if you just want this spin at the top and this uh, flicking the tail end out to the side, you can also try with the inspin flower. Inspin means the arm circle and um, the spindle here would go into the same direction. So when I start here, my arm is going up here, I also spin upwards here and down to that side. So this time I'm spinning, if I'm starting here on wheel plane, I'm spinning backwards, going up here, and there the hand position is uh, just like this. Um, again, and now the hand is in the downswing, so in the downswing, the whip just drops into the other hand, and then you can continue spinning down here. Um, on the and the hand at the bottom is also quite easy. There you have this, uh, the hand just resting here, and you just spin upright into this hand. So spinning down towards the other side of the door, and. Just go like this, then you can continue up here. Just let the whip drop in the in the other hand. And again, you can just keep the fibers in your hand so that you get this stuff like um, thing here. So spinning up here, hand up. Like so. 
Um, I skipped the other direction now because this video is already way too long probably. Um, but you know that you just have to switch everything around to get the other direction. Um, I hope it helps. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. Bye.